Riker. I'm going to not hold this. Alright, so first things first, make sure that you're making this in a well ventilated area. Right now I'm in my garage, I've got the garage door open, there's plenty of breeze coming through here. But these are some of the materials you're going to need. Okay. So let's talk about some of the, materi the materials that I have laid out here. I've got a pot and some water and of course my MSR pocket rocket uh, and some stove fuel. This some masking tape, I've got a pocket knife so I can cut my wax. This is just regular paraffin wax. Uh, I've already made some of these before so this is a this is just a mason jar uh, with some residual paraffin in it. Uh, of course I've got some cotton squares, you could use any cotton. Um, but I like the squares because they fold around nicely. I've got some cling wrap uh, for the end. Any, any sort of plastic wrap uh, will work. And of course the matches. I'm using the Titan Stormproof matches because those are the longest burning matches that I'm aware of that are available. Uh, so that's a snapshot of the materials you're going to need. Now let's talk about how we actually make these. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is get some water boiling so I can set that to the side while I'm getting my wax prepared. Because I'm using a stove indoors, this is one reason why I recommend you do this in a really ventilated area. We're going to be using a double boiler principle here, so I need to heat some water so that I can put that mason jar inside it. While that's boiling, I'm going to shave off some of this wax and I'm going to fill up that jar. I found that it's better to use thin shavings, they melt quicker than it is to put you know, larger chunks in there. It's really dangerous to melt wax over an open flame. The reason is, is once it melts it becomes extremely flammable um, and if you're using an open flame and that catches flame it'll it'll take off and next thing you know you'll burn your shop down uh, so it's really dangerous so that's why I'm using a double boiler principle I'm going to use the mason jar and set it inside a boiling water bath and that's what's going to melt it and that protects the wax from the flame while the wax is melting I can start prepping my matches so what I need is two cotton squares some masking tape a pocket knife and of course my matches. I'll take out four of those matches, I'll lay out my cotton squares, and I'll place the match on there just like this. Basically leaving a little more of the end exposed, that the striking end exposed, but covering it all the way down to the bottom of the stick here. Once I get them in like that, I'll start placing all four of them as close together as possible. and then pinch them together like that. Then I'll kind of work the cotton. What I'm trying to do is wrap these completely in cotton. And that's not going to stay until I dip it in the wax. I'm going to cut me a couple little strips of masking tape. But I'm going to show you how to do is how to make the buddy tab. This will help hold your cotton on until you dip it in the wax, but it'll also help you protect the match heads so that you don't have to dig the wax out of it to strike it when you need it. This is about a six inch piece of masking tape, and then I've got another probably three inch piece. So I want the six inch piece on first. So what I'm going to do is put a buddy tab on that and kind of double it over. That way that part doesn't stick and I can get it off easily when I need it. Make sure my matches are even. Starting from the end away from the buddy tab. I'll wrap that masking tape around. Nice and tight. And I'll leave that, leave that little tab off. I'll take the other shorter piece and I'll go right over the top.
by me doing it that way, once I dip this in wax and it all becomes sealed, I can grab this buddy tab and I can rip it around and tear this tape off and I'll have the exposed match heads here that I don't have to dig the wax out of so that I can strike it. Now I can't stress it enough, anytime you're using a anytime you're using a stove, make sure that it's in a well ventilated area. All right. Um, anytime you're melting wax, make sure you use this double boiler technique. Don't try to do it over an open flame. Once you dip the super match into the wax, you're going to need some plastic wrap to roll it up in. So you can go ahead and prep that now. Alright, let's go ahead and turn that stove off. Alright, now this should go without saying, but this glass is going to be extremely hot. This pan is going to be hot. The water is going to be hot. The wax is going to be hot. And your stove is going to be hot. So make sure you don't touch that. All right. And it's a good idea to put on some gloves. I put on some gloves mainly uh, to keep the wax on, off my hands. But what you want to do now is make sure your super match has basically the shape that you want it to have. Then I'm going to dip it down into the wax. I'm going to allow it time for that wax to soak into those, that cotton. Then I'm going to pull it out. Then I'm going to flip it over and dip it in the other side. Allow that time to soak through. Then you just take that from the hot wax, lay it down in your plastic wrap, and wrap it up tight. Now I, all I have to do with this is just let it cool. So you can cool. Uh, in the past I've taken it and put it in the freezer and it's worked just fine. So it's up Alright, let's take a look at how that turned out. And I suppose you could leave it in the plastic wrap and that would just make it that much more waterproof. But it's not necessary and I usually don't. Because that wax coating is waterproof by itself. Everything's completely sealed around this in wax. This little buddy tab right here is what allows me to rip the, the striker protector off so that it exposes the matches so that I can strike it. If I didn't have that, I would have to scrape that wax off to get down to one of the match heads and then I could strike that. So this is the completed super match. We've got basically your ignition source being your matches and your tinder which, be, which is the cotton that they're wrapped in, all in one package. And then this buddy tabbed tape right here, I can rip that off and expose the strikers. The wax on this keeps it waterproof, and it also makes it burn slower.